Welcome to Fun with Photos. Do you take pictures with your phone? Do you have questions about using all those camera settings? And how do you manage your lifetime of photos so you can find and share your favorite memories? I'm Jim, and together with my wife, Chris, we are Geeks on Tour. Chris has 10-minute tips covering our taking photos with iPhones or Android phones, making photos better with editing and creative tools, and keeping your lifetime of photos organized and accessible with Google Photos. What do you have, Chris? Today, we're taking photos of fireworks. <laughs> have you heard people say that you can't take a good photo of fireworks with a smartphone? Two things. If you have one of the new high-end phones and you're willing to learn about some of the pro settings, I think you can take award-winning fireworks photos. But that's not what we're talking about. I just want to keep memories. You don't need to learn any of the pro settings. Just take the phone out of your pocket. You're going to get some good fireworks memories photos. I do have a couple of tips, though. So these three photos here were all taken with smartphones, either an iPhone 7 or an Android Samsung Note 9 were these photos. I say smartphones take fine photos of fireworks. Keep your flash off. Let me show you what I mean there. And here I have... Here I have both an iPhone and a Samsung, and if you go into the camera, the flash is that lightning bolt. You want it to have a slash through it. If you tap it, you'll see you have three choices, on, off, and auto. You want it off. You don't need to light up the head of the people in front of you, and those fireworks are a long ways away. Flash off. Tip number two. Use night mode sparingly. Now, your phone might not have night mode, but if it does, it might come on automatically. Let me show you what I mean there. On the Samsung, this little moon here says that it has gone into night mode. You can tap it and turn it off. On the iPhone, it's up at the top and it's gold. I, once again, can tap it and turn it off. Now, you might want to try it. Night mode might give you some nice results, but try it both ways. Next tip is to take videos. These are great video cameras. And when you're at the fireworks, you want to see all the action and hear the sounds. So take some videos along with your photos. Consider a tripod, but you really don't even have to. And then my number one tip is to turn motion or live on. And let me show you what I mean there. On the Samsung, it is, and you, it can't, doesn't work in night mode. <laughs> it is this little play button up here. Tap it if it says off, tap it again. I say leave it on. Motion photos will take up more space, but they're worth it when you see what you can do. On the iPhone, it's this little bullseye icon. It's called Live. If, you, if it says Live Off, tap it again till it's Live On. And you should leave that on. Then the things that you can do are so cool. Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and if you are a follower of our videos, our YouTube channel, you may have noticed that I'm a fan of live photos, also called motion photos. They're called live on the iPhone, they're called motion on the Samsung. It's when you get a few seconds of video along with just a still shot. In this video, I want to show you what you can do with these live or motion photos. There are three main things you can do with motion or live photos. You can pick the best shot out of that three seconds worth of video. You can export just the video or get an animated GIF. You can make a movie that includes the motion. Now there are some 
distinctions depending on which phone you have and whether or not you use Google Photos. I am going to start with the iPhone because in the iPhone, the Google Photos doesn't do this. You need to use the Apple Photos. Here is a fireworks picture and it looks just like a picture, right? But no, it is a live photo. So that means if I hold down on it, I see the three seconds of video. Now I want to capture a different still frame than this. To do that, you tap edit, then the live button down here at the bottom. Now I see a little film strip of all the different pieces that are in this and I'll say, ooh, yeah, that's the one I like best. You tap make key photo and done. Now when you're looking at just the photo, you're getting this piece rather than what was originally captured. On my Samsung, I will show you the Google Photos because it works on this. And here is a fireworks photo. It looks just like a photo, but in Google Photos, you tap this little play button to see the motion involved. And I want the main photo to be where it's red in there. What you do is you swipe up and that reveals the little film strip. You tap on the film strip and now you can position the to get this frame that you want. I like that one. I tap save copy. So that's a little bit, it, now this is a, an original photo and it is just a photo, but the live photo is also still there. Next is export to video or animated GIF. So what you're seeing right here is an animated GIF of a fireworks live photo. Let me show you how I did that. Here is that motion photo of a fireworks. And if I tap, either tap the three dots or just swipe up, then you have a lot of options. This is in Google Photos on the Android. And one of the options is export. Tap export and you have the choice to just get the still photo, get the three seconds of video, or get an animated GIF and export. And those are fun. The third thing you can do with your motion photos is to make a movie. This is my favorite. You can do this with Google Photos on your iPhone or Samsung or the computer with the web. I think I'll show you on the computer. So on a web browser at photos.google.com, here's that same selection of photos. This first one, of course, is a video, 16 seconds. This one looks just like a photo, but if I open it and click the play, then the, you see the motion. So, and that is the case with these next three. I'm just gonna choose three to make this quick and easy. I'll select that one, select that one, and select that one. Then you click the plus and choose movie. It's done, it's even added music. I don't like that it's portrait, so I click here and change it to landscape. I also am not thrilled with the music, so I click on the music icon, and I think this deserves a Beethoven's Symphony Number no. 5. Okay, you save that and it becomes an MP4, just a little video that you can share with anybody you want. So those are my suggestions of what to do with your live or motion photos. You can pick the best frame for the shot you want, you can export to a video or an animated GIF, or you can make a movie that includes the motion. So if you're going out on July 4th or any other time where there's celebration with fireworks, don't hesitate to take that phone out of your pocket and snap away. With these few tips, you could end up having something that's really memorable. I'm Chris. And I'm Jim. And we're Geeks on Tour. <laughs> See you next time. In the next Fun With Photos. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
did that 